Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. It is the 1st of February and it's time for Rock 2022 AU, my make along and our album cover for the 1st of February. But before we do that, I'll do a bit of review on the last album we did in um, January, which was the Goanna Spirit of the Place. I was really happy to see the projects and the pictures posted and how people really got into this album. I was really quite surprised with it being Australian music. But since showing the album, I found out it's the 40th anniversary of Spirit of the Place and the song Solid Rock. And Goanna have reformed to do an anniversary tour this year. Also on Australia Day, an Indigenous choir sang at the Sydney Opera House in a televised concert solid rock in English and Pijinjara, I think was the language they did it in and it was awesome. It is part of a big concert recording on YouTube and I forgot to stamp mark it when it is. But yeah, it was great to see how many people got behind the album cover for Goanna. So thank you very much. So a January participant participants prize. It is late, I'm sorry. Um Yes, there were 30 people who posted pictures, sent me pictures on Instagram or Facebook or through email. I did a bit of review who was doing what and I found out 11 of them are Australians, which is awesome to have that many Australians participate. Um, I think nine were from the US, a couple from UK, one from New Zealand, but the big shot was there's only one person from Canada I would have thought we would have got more participants from Canada, but hey what, that's the way it goes. Um, so it's nice to just review who's from where and who's doing what, to see what inspires them. But I'm really enjoying it and I hope you guys are. So the prize draw will be at the end of this video. I've set up the random um, wheel with the names on it. And I'll set it all up here and do a video so you can watch the draw and see who our lucky participant is for our January prize. That's January, 1st to February. So um, Reeves particularly asked me what was I looking for for February. And I said, well, February is traditionally the month of love. It has Valentine's Day. That's about the only thing I could come up with at the time. So off they went to look at the record collection. I knew we had some great ballads. We had Barry White, Roberta Flack, um, Olivia Newton-John sing some. I know we had Beatles ballads because the Beatles ballads somewhere is always number 10 on the 10th on the most requested love song. So I was thinking, oh, they've got a good range to pick from. Who will they pick? Well, again, they surprised me. So... February the first album cover. Who is it? Ed's Dr. Hook. It's greatest hits. Yes, this is what they picked. To be honest, things said he couldn't be bothered. He's not really into all the, that sort of romantic type music. It bores him and he left it to Reeves. Reeves said he thought this was a good album cover because the month of love. It has the big love heart. And it has some blues to introduce into our project. You know, eye patch hat. He thought it was a great cover. And there is some really well-known songs on this album. So this is our album cover for the 1st of February. Now, I've done a bit of research. I do like Dr. Hook. Yuck. If you don't sing along to their songs when you hear it on the radio, then you must be very young because they are well-known. So Dr. Hook, it was called Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show and it was shortened to Dr. Hook in 1975. It's an American rock band formed in New Jersey. They, they enjoyed considerable, considerable success from about 1970 through to the 80s. Um, the band had about eight years of chart topping in the United States their music was played on um, easy listening and country music outlets and they had great success through English-speaking countries such as Australia, Canada, UK and South Africa. Their genre of music sort of is novelty songs and acoustic ballads. 
in their early years, but towards the end of the um, their reign, I guess, in music, it was mostly consisting of disco-influenced soft rock. So for those of you out there who are thinking, who's Dr. Hook? You might know these singles that were great hits. When You're In Love With A Beautiful Woman, Sharing The Night Together, Better Love Next Time, Sexy Eyes, One Of My Favourite, Baby Makes Her Blue Jeans Talk, Sylvia's Mother, The Cover Of Rolling Stone, Only 16 and A Little Bit More. So some of these songs I've looked on YouTube, there are recordings of them and I'll put a couple of links in the description below so you can check the band out if you've never heard of them. So this guy is Ray Sawyer. He was well known because he always had the eye patch and the cowboy hat. Um, he did backing vocals. He did sing lead vocals on the cover of Rolling Stone. He only really did percussion instruments such as congos, congo drums or um, maracas, that sort of thing. I was really surprised to read that on December the 31st in 2018, he died at the age of 81. I didn't think he was that old, but yes, so he has gone. So this guy, this one, and I'm going to have trouble with his surname, Dennis Michael Lacuria, I, is, I have to forgive me for his surname. He was the American lead vocalist and American singer, lead vocalist of the group and guitarist. Um, he also wrote songs for other um, artists, such as Bob Dylan, Crystal Gale, Helen Reddy, Willie Nelson, Olivia Newton-John and Jerry Lee Lewis. He now actually owns the rights and everything to do with the shortened version Dr. Hook. And he does do Dr. Hook history tours. He last came to Australia in 2014 and prior to that it had been 15 years since they visited. So what will inspire you from this album. Well, Reeb sings the love heart. You can make something to do with hearts. There's some new blues to introduce with the golds and the darker red fern trees. Now, I thought what could inspire you is the eye patch. You could make something for Talk Like a Pirate Day, which is on September the 19th. My sister's brother-in-law, who lives and owns a sailboat, he lives on it. He does a big thing on Talk Like a Pirate Day. It's quite funny. And at, it's fun. You could make something in advance for Talk Like a Pirate Day. There's the cowboy hat to inspire you. Um, what else did I do? The other thing I thought of, you could make an amigurumi crochet hook for Dr. Hook and make it into a pin cushion for a Yanni friend and give it as a gift. But there you go. Uh, February the 1st album is Dr. Hook, the month of love for February. For January, I didn't show my projects, but I will now. I made my um, corner to corner square and I used the red, gold and black. These are actually our indigenous flag colors. And uh, recently, if you made the indigenous flag, you were in breach anything to do that resembled the indigenous flag, you're in breach of copyright. But just prior to Australia Day, our government negotiated with a guy who owned the artwork and bought the copyright for $20 million, which means now as taxpayers, we can use it. So there's a lady that's always asking me to make an Indigenous flag tea cosy. I can now do it for her because up until then, it was a breach of copyright. My zigzag blanket, look, I wasn't very creative. I did do... Um, same. Uh, someone did say to me, oh, maybe you should have done two rows of black. No, I actually do want that look. I do want that sort of um, jaggedy look with one row. But that was what I did on my zigzag blanket for January. February, mm, it's going to be really difficult because I've just done the shawl and the blues and golds. But yeah, I'll have to have a think about it. So guys, what can I say? about the music. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really getting into the vinyl. 
And yes, February is the month of love, so make your project about Dr. Hook and love. Um, stay well, stay safe. I can't remember who wrote this quote. I should have written it down. If music is a place, the jazz is the city, folk is the wilderness, rock is the road, and classic is the temple. Until next time, peace, love, and music. Bye for now. Okay, everyone, this is our um, random name picking wheel. Oh, you type the names on the wheel. We have 30 um, people who participated in January's Rock 2022 AU, and all the names are on the wheel. So I'm going to now draw our lucky participant prize for January. Good luck, everyone. Susan Baring, Suzanne Baring, congratulations. You have won our first participants prize. My email will be listed in the description below. If you could claim your prize within seven days and I can organise to let you have it. Thank you for, ta for taking part and hopefully we'll have more in February for Rock 2022 AU. Bye for now.